want to see me fail. That's crazy. Because I ain't never did nothing to nobody. I'm the same motherfucker that be like, you better move, Mr. Cricket, before you get stepped on. I'm the same motherfucker out here giving fucking <laughs> respect to the dragonflies and the crickets and the spiders and the roaches and the ants and the, and the trees and the wind. Wouldn't hurt a fly, you know what I'm saying? So to speak, you know, I will kill a bug. If I got to kill it, I'll be like, I'm sorry I had to go in here and did this, but you knew better than to come into my space. You know what I'm saying? You know who I am. You know I gotta get you sometimes. But I'm the same motherfucker that would give the shirt off my back to a motherfucker when I was fucking broke and, and fucking quit a job and didn't have no money. I was out here still giving to other people. I'm that motherfucker. But you got the damn audacity to want to hate and wish for my downfall when I have done nothing to nobody but always be there for people. And give my time, my energy, my advice, my listening ear. Shit that normal people do not do anymore. People don't do that shit no more. That's why we so sick. And everybody, I'm at the job now, and there's so many people talking about some, what do we, how do we fix this, and how do we get along with each other? We're not going to get along with each other until we fucking heal. And motherfuckers ain't on the same page right now. That, that That's just how it is when you throw up a whole bunch of people in the fucking cesspool. You know what I'm saying? A little, you know what I'm saying? You throw them all in the motherfucking petri dish. This is what the fuck you get. A whole bunch of motherfucking crazies with everybody with different mental issues and different demons battling each other. And the job is not getting done. So you got a whole bunch of motherfucking retards running the world. No wonder. Boy wonder. We headed towards robots, machines, and you know what I'm saying? Artificial intelligence. Y'all motherfucking humans are fucking crazy, fucked up, go ahead, kill yourself. And we'll keep moving on in the world with our robots and artificial intelligence far removed from you, crazy fucks, fucking up yourselves, fighting over bullshit, arguing over shit that don't fucking matter because you're sick, you can't heal, so we have a dysfunction in society, you know? But... I digress. I'm talking about these motherfuckers that want to hate on me and wish for my downfall when I have done nothing to them. And I mean every single person I've come across. Nothing but good intentions. Nothing but chances. Nothing but understanding and compassion for me. I know it. I can say that shit because that's where my heart's always been. I can say that shit and know for 100% facts, that's 100% true. Not a, it won't there one time where I intentionally wanted to fuck somebody over on some, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Just because. Because I always had to understand that people, if they fuck me over, alright, that's on them, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They got something they got to deal with. I'd rather not be in that energy, in that space, to have to deal with that, them circumstances. So I avoid conflict. So, knowing who the fuck I am, how the hell can you hate on me? When I mind my business, I do my job, I don't put nothing on nobody, I put myself in everybody's shoes, you hate on me, that's good, that's cool. You know? Because at the end of the day, I don't hate on you. I'm not hating on you. I don't wish no ill on you. I still don't wish no ill on you. I actually want you to fucking heal. I wish and pray that you heal them demons. Cast them demons out from within you because that's horrible for you to hate on somebody who ain't never did a damn thing to you. Meanwhile, there's people out here who are actually fucking you over. And you're fucking allowing it. You're bending over and fucking spreading your fucking booty hole wide open for them to fucking ram. Ram into that bitch. That's what you're doing. And you wonder why your life is so miserable. Woe is me. Why, 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 why can't I get it? Why can't I be that? Why can't that be me? Why am I not pretty enough? Why am I not smart enough? Why am I not strong enough? Why am I not whatever? Because that's the illusion.
religion you choose to ride with. That's the fucking mindset you choose to have. As opposed to, all right, okay, we all win, we win some, we lose some, it is what it is, keep it fucking moving. Anytime a nigga fucking rejected me, yes, I've been rejected. I'm a, I'm a fucking human being, and I'm not perfect, and I'm not no damn model, so yes, I've been rejected. Because I've been unhealed at some point in my life, where I fucking allowed shit, and I, you know, people, I look back on it now, like I said, there's a couple of dudes that I, I look back and I remember, and I see why. They would look and they were like, no, I'm not dealing with that. That chick is a little uh, insecure. I don't want anybody that's insecure. And I respect that looking at it now. Because when you heal, you know what the fuck you're going to accept and what you ain't going to accept. And if you know a motherfucker got issues from the beginning, you do not go into that relationship. You do not. Regardless of how much you want to know how it tastes or feels or whatever, fuck that shit. This shit might be crazy, so be careful. When you gain knowledge and you healed and you love yourself, you would not accept anybody. I mean, you don't give a fuck what the fuck it look like, smell like, taste like, or sound like. I don't give a fuck. If it ain't right, I'm not doing it. I refuse to put myself in it. It ain't worth it. I've been there, done that, found out it won't worth it, won't do it again. That's what. That's why you go through things in life, to learn. To learn, grow. better, become better. Not to repeat the same patterns over and over and over again. Me, for example, picking bad boy over good boy. I I wanted bad boy. Bad boy was cuter. Bad boy was more fun. Bad boy was, you know what I'm saying? Good boy was predictable <laughs> so what do I do I go with bad boy and spend 10 years on and off of fucking toxicity domestic violence bullshit getting nowhere a big ass motherfucking cycle just to realize wow that was a waste of 10 years. Lessons learned. Many lessons learned. And I refuse to do it again. So now when I'm faced with the <laughs> decision, good boy, bad boy. Mm. And look, this this time, bad boy, woo, bad boy. It was a hard decision. Ooh, what, what you do, boy? Clyde Dyke Bar. Golly. Um. <laughs> logic because fuck your feelings you used your feelings before and your feelings got you fucked up your feelings had you with bad credit your feelings had you with fucking debt your feelings had you with fucking uh, not being a, you know living with other motherfuckers because you bouncing around from home to home you know every two months fucking dealing with being pregnant and losing yeah you know i'm saying your feelings had you fucked up in some dumb ass situations because you wanted to try to care Cause you won't heal and you thought that you could fix somebody else and you won't even fix how the fuck you gonna fix that's why they say you cannot love nobody else until you love yourself first you cannot that's impossible you gotta take that time to love yourself first heal yourself can't nobody else do it only you can prevent forest fire smokies only you baby can't nobody else do it for you they can't Only you are with yourself 100% of your life from your birth, from your conception, from the even thought of before you were even thought of. Well, I can't even say that. From your conception. No, I can't even say that. From your birth to your death. You're the only one that's going to 100% be with you the whole time. So you got to be confident in you. You got to be able to trust you. You got to know you, who you are. What you're capable of. You know? There's going to be times in life when you ain't got, you you can't, you look to your left, you look to your right. There's nobody to lean on. You got to lean on yourself. Be willing to lean on 
yourself. Be willing to pep talk yourself. Encourage yourself. Nurture yourself. Discipline yourself. Guide yourself. Master yourself. Why not? What else? What else is better? What else is there better to do? Than to reach God level, the highest level, the most high, utmost level of yourself. What 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 else is better in life? Because see, when you when you improve yourself, everything else improves. Your world improves because once you realize who you are, what you do, how you do it, how it's done, you realize that you create this reality. You control your emotions and how you react to this reality, respond to this reality, and how you perceive this reality. So once you know that, you on God level, you moving through these. The, the, you know, you you know, bam! I've been through that. I got through that level. I did that before, and you know. And when you're playing a video game, just like a video game, the levels get a little bit harder as they go, but they add in elements to the last from the last level. You know what I'm saying? That you know, get you, you know, you 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 know how to do it now. You do, you did it before. You got through it. You learned, and you know how to do it. So as you go along, and yes, it gets harder, but it gets easier too. Because you have new knowledge. You worked on yourself. You know yourself. You focus and put that effort and energy on to, into you. And like I said, now that you know who you are, you go out here, you create your reality. You understand your reality. Now you can manifest your reality. Course correct. Why go on autopilot? I mean, some people, if you want to live on life on autopilot, be my guest if that's what you're here to do. Because some of us, hey, you're just here to vacation right now. Do you, you know, go on autopilot and just exist. But there's a mindful existence or just merely mere existence. Which one do you want? Mindful. It's a beautiful world. It's a heaven on earth. Why? Why you got to wait? your mind anyways you're having to get hell what you waiting for you can experience this third dimensional world through touch taste smell sight hearing and other senses you know and created a miserable one or a beautiful one because this is i see a beautiful world what do you see live on earth and how your consciousness what you put on your consciousness what vibe you choose to dwell in determines your heaven or hell when you leave because you got that same energy when you leave the the flesh dies the spirit does not and you carry it on the same whether it was negative or positive energy when you leave being in mind you're still an extension of that spirit you're here in this flesh why not experience this world because it's going to come with some downs and it's, it's going to flow up and down it was it's a dual world duality good and bad black and white up and down god and the devil positive negative it's a dual world so it's gonna it's, it has to flow and that's a part of the experience understand you're going to have downs, all right? But you're also going to have ups. And when you have those ups, you should appreciate those ups. And when you have those downs, remember that you're always going to come back up. It's just the way it works. And with knowing that, a lot of mental illness, anxiety, depression, all of that can just start fading away if you start tweaking the way you think. What you perceive, because you control it. I don't know who you think control it. I, we all know who we let control it. We, we know that. We, we, we all woke now. We know. We know. We know the signs and the symbols and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, 
in, in the groups and the societies or whatever. We, we know, you know, we know what they did. We know what it is. We're aware. Now what? Next step. Responsibility, accountability, and action. I say we take action, responsibility, and accountability for ourselves because who else controls you and what else is better than mastering yourself? What else is worth the time? And with that, mastering yourself comes creating creativity. So now you're out here doing, you know, you don't have to. Your purpose what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, how you're supposed to make money, being able to comfortably be happy because the universe wants you to be happy because, you know, we're already stuck in the fucking hell. <laughs> we're already stuck in the worst of it, in the negative mindset of it. We, we've experienced this. Uh, where's our Garden of Eden? It's here. You just got to go find that motherfucker in you. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds so cliche. It is true. 